just to start the conversation, it's better with something light, casual, not asking, you know, very personal things. As for the communication, you know, let's speak a little more during the event. I remember that I was telling you, you know, ask women about, the, about them a lot. You know, that's, that's usually, yeah, but also do not interrogate them. <laughs> you know, try not to put too much pressure. Let them, you know, ask yourself, you know, and some questions as well to you, you know, and do, you don't have to ask, sometimes it's not very important to ask very serious questions, even though I told you, you know, have them ready. If you see that that's an important woman, you know, you can ask her, right? Certain very serious things. Tonight you can, you know, but you can ask even just, are you nervous? You know, to say, oh yeah, I'm also nervous. You know, have you ever been to this kind of event before? Something very general to start the conversation as well. Because it may just be weird, you know, do you want to have children, right? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, know, Allah is so right. I had a guy, a woman come to me because this guy was at the table and had just met, right? And she comes to me after he leaves, she's like, John, he's asking me all these questions. He wants to know if, if we're right together. He's telling me he doesn't have much time and he needs to know now if I can actually marry him. Like, like <laughs> if I'd be open to marrying him and I just met him and she's freaking out. And I'm like, okay, just relax. I'll talk to him. I'm like, dude, you have to chill. You can't be asking these women that, oh, I don't have much time. Can you really be with me? Is this going to work? You just met her. I mean, women want to have a little bit of, of um, what's the word, when you, courtship. Yes, they want you to woo them. You know, you, they want that. Imagine, I'm, you know, we're meeting and I'm asking you, how much money do you have on your bank account? Right, that's a weird question. Yeah. I would suggest also, if there's something very important, like living on the farm, just tell them that I live on the farm and I really enjoy it. Right? You know, just just tell them what what is important for you. Don't put pressure. Do you want to live on the farm? No. You know, you don't want to hear no at the table that much, right? So it's better not to make those kind of con like questions. Tell them what you want. Oh, I I would love to you know live all the time in the United States. You can ask them if they visited. Tell them about your country if they didn't know. You know, some some of them maybe you know. Some maybe they have lived there, some visited, some maybe never went. So you can sell your country because it's a great country with little, lots of things, you know, that's why you live there. That's what, there are things that you love about it. So tell them those things, you know. But you can ask them as well. Of course, know. of course, yeah, no. yeah, 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 with the time. But just to start the conversation, it's better with something very, you know, light, very casual, not asking, you know, very personal things couple of things you know you girls are you coming from work or you know how was your day today you know what do you think about the venue do you like it here you know all these things about that connection guys and a lot of it a lot of it is nonverbal. a lot of it is body language a lot of it is eye contact a lot of it is uh, that little because when I went up to Tanya at that social I saw her from across the room and I'm like wow this woman's beautiful oh, oh my god and then I got nervous heart starts pounding palms start sweating I'm like Shit. I'm really nervous and so I got a bottle of champagne and I walked over to Tanya's table and there's like four or five other women there and I'm like, hi, I'm glad you came, glad you came, got to Tanya, oh, I'm so glad you came and I gave her a little champagne and she just looks at me, she goes, I just came because I had a bad day at work and um, I just wanted to dance with my friends and drink champagne. I'm like, ah, oh, okay, fine. But I gave her champagne, but you know what, there was something in her eye, some little, see right now she's looking at me, some little thing in her eye that made me think I gotta keep coming back, right? And I kept coming back. And then she started to get a little more open, a little more open. And it's funny, because she was also, and this is something too, because some of you guys don't like women who smoke. Well, she was actually smoking a cigarette when I first met her. I, I know she gets mad when I tell the story. But I said, oh. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, you, you smoke. And so I said, oh, you smoke. And she, I go, so I'm like, I, that's too bad or something like that. You smoke? She goes, no, I don't. I'm like, oh, well, that's good. I'm glad you don't smoke. She's like, yeah. I'm like, okay. But the thing is, many women will smoke 
just intermittently, socially, things like that. So if you see someone smoking, don't just assume, oh my God, I can never be with this woman because she smokes. Because if I would have assumed that with Tanya, we wouldn't have been together 25 years as it's been now, right? 25 years ago, guys, I met her at a social. This July will be 25 years. We just celebrate our 22nd year anniversary. So, um, but I kept coming back, coming back, and my gosh, we talked all night after that social. I mean, it was an amazing thing. And I knew that night that we'd get married, right? So it happens, it can happen, but sometimes the body language speaks much more louder than the verbal language. So when she told me, ah, I'm not interested, I'm just here to do this. Some of you guys are coming to me, John, she's a scammer. She's just here to drink the champagne. She told me, and I'd like, is she breathing? <laughs> because if she's breathing, she's fair game and you need to make her change that and you need to make something happen, right? Because if she told you that, you know, that doesn't necessarily mean that's the truth. It just Women aren't gonna get down on their knees and say, oh, please, please pick me, oh, please. They're not gonna do that. These are very proud, wonderful women. No, they're not gonna do that, guys. And they, you don't want them to do that. You want this to be a dance. You want this to be a, you know, a courtship and, and have all that. This should be a healthy, regular relationship. You're not here to rescue anybody. No one's here to rescue you. This is just a nice thing. So keep all that in mind. Did she touch your hair? <sighs> she may have. I think she flipped it. Flipped movie, it. That's, that's a sign. Yeah, that's a sign. When she touched you. Oh, that was Ken's thing. Yeah, that's a sign. You touch your hair and you yeah. do that. Yeah. There was another joke about that, but we won't go into that. Join men from all over the world as they take a trip and find their future brides. Check out our website at mediandating.com